safe with taboo customs today in this video we're going to be adjusting the kick down band in our 98 tj here now the issue that we have is that somewhat all of a sudden uh, our shifting from first to second became really slow and it wouldn't shift basically until we let off the throttle uh, upon looking into everything from the fluid and and all that good stuff we looked pretty good so we disconnected the kick down cable and once we disconnected the kick down cable the shifting returned back to a very quick shift so we are assuming that our adjustment in our uh, kick down band is needing to be done so since this is a 98 it has a uh, 904 transmission in it and we're going to be taking a look at how we can possibly get that done with the transmission still in the Jeep. Here's the difficulty we have. This is a Jeep, it's up on the lift. Luckily we have a lift obviously on the ground to be a bigger pain in the butt, but this is the adjustment for the kick down band in the transmission. Uh, what we've got here is we've got a jam nut on the outside, a set screw on the inside. We will have to take this jam nut off torque the set screw down to a specific specific excuse me specified torque then back it off a specified number of turns and reinstall our jam nut and hope everything works well but we've got to work around all this stuff now luckily uh, a lot of this stuff will be able to come off so we'll probably at least pull this spring but we'll see how how it goes now one thing i did do while i was down here is i did you know actuate and this lever up here is the, our kick down lever and i can feel some some weirdness in the lever i popped this off and in the transmission it's smooth so i don't know maybe we have a cable issue so if this doesn't work that'll be the next thing that we are going to visit but now we've got to figure out where we can put our camera so it's not in the way but everybody can see which might be a big problem too okay so first steps we uh took wire brush cleaned up around this sprayed it down with some uh, uh brake cleaner just to make sure we didn't have any gunk on here especially as we still go to start removing these uh this jam nut uh, but first step is the jam nut now on this tj that jam nut is a 19 millimeter and of course, the fun part about all this is trying to uh, work with your uh, hands up over it. Now the set screw in the middle did turn a little bit. I don't think it's a huge issue. We don't want that to come out though. So don't let it come out. We're going to go ahead and take that jam nut all the way off. Oh yeah, screwing in, I can feel that we do not, there's not a whole lot of pressure on that. So yeah, it probably does need to go in fair enough. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove this spring. This spring is, goes to the linkage that um, is the kick down linkage, which is this one up here. This one right here is the uh, uh, gear shift. So this goes up to your gear shift. We may also have to remove that. I don't know, we will see. Um, we may also remove this, which is pretty easy. They both just pop straight up. Uh, but being an older, you know, an older Jeep, I don't like to pop those off. I don't have to, because sometimes they may just break. So now for the next step is we need a T40 Torx and we need our uh, torque wrench. And it needs to be a torque wrench that is in a a smaller variety because we only have to go to 72 inch pounds on this okay unfortunately we only have a dial torque wrench that we typically use for preload on uh, uh, pinion bearings and things like that that is small enough that you know goes down to 72 inch pounds uh, a, tor a click style torque wrench would probably be much better partially because we only have that dial what we're gonna do we're just gonna go ahead and try to snug it down to where I think 72 inch pounds might be which isn't a whole lot so it's just gonna kind of be snug but 
right now I'll tell you there we go start to feel some resistance so now we'll go ahead grab our dial I mean we probably will have some I mean the torque isn't high to where I think the extensions are going to cause us a big problem but normally if you're using an extension with a torque wrench it will take up some of that torque it's about 30 inch pounds there we've got a arrow on our dial that we've set to 72 so we're just watching that once the one arrow hits that arrow we're basically where we need to be that is 72 inch pounds now we're not done so with the set 72 inch pounds we now have to back that set screw off two and a half revolutions so we want two and a half turns on it which uh i'll tell you what give me a second i'm gonna mark my socket Just because with it up in the Jeep the way it is, honestly going to be a bit of a pain to tell. So we're just going to go ahead and put a mark on the socket. That way I don't have to question it so much. Right, there's one. Now it's pretty much loosened. There's two. Now we've got a half, so we're actually going to use the ratchet to tell this one. And so, right there should be a half. And I do think that it is in there a bit more than it was before. So, now you have to make sure that the set screw does not move. And we'll want to get our jam nut here started. Is it upside down? I think it's upside down from what it was. Oh, shit. So with it, like that. Find our mark again so we can make sure it doesn't move on us. There we go. Yeah, I can tell you that's quite a bit farther in than it was when we started. So, hopefully this works. Now the fun part, we've got to figure out how to hold both of these up there. Not let the set screw move and tighten down our jam nut. Oh, shit. put our spring back on now with this spring it's easier to hook I found the uh, end there and then hook it into the bracket up there I'm trying to go this other way it's a bit of a pain because this gets in the way okay so that is quite a bit different I'm going to say that's a good 3 sixteenths to, three sixteenths to a quarter inch farther in than it was before but yeah, it's supposed to be the right way to, to set these so we'll see how it shifts and go for drive 
All right, so we took it for a drive and it shifts great. Um, we're happy, really happy with that. That's one of the things that, you know, um, we were worried about maybe an internal issue with the transmission, especially when we found that the kick, kick, kick down cable was still connected. Uh, that is a common failure is the kick down cable end will break. And we do have replacement ends for those available on our website, tabucustoms.com. But luckily after the adjustment, shifts great and we're really happy with that because well essentially we didn't have to spend any more money on it uh, because we have several other fixes that we still have to do to this tj so if you've got a jeep or a tj that is um, slow to shift from first to second we would recommend first looking at the kick down cable looking make sure your fluid level is correct if both of those are uh, working correctly, you can try to adjust that, uh, that make that kick down adjustment there on the side of the transmission. Hopefully it works for you just like it did for us. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you uh, want to uh, leave a comment, you can leave a comment on this video or you can visit us at tabucustoms.com uh, where you can email us or you can find uh, all of our products that we sell from rust repair kits to a lot of skid plates and things like that and also some information on our other projects so thank you for what's watching and as always a like or subscribe is greatly appreciated